Hi, third and fourth grade. So this is the full mask video for the animal masks. So if you did not watch the first one, you missed me making a lion half mask. If you want to go back and watch that, that's an actual pretty fun one to watch. What I need you to have with you, though, for this full mask project is you do need your planning paper from last week's assignment. You're going to need scissors, glue stick, my pencil vanished as normal, a pencil, and then whatever paper you are going to use. So if you're going to use colored paper, you need it with you. If you're using white paper, you need it. Whatever color, whatever you are going to use. I'm going to not make my full mask a true color. I'm going to make my full mask a fun color. I'm going to make a purple hippo out of my, for my full mask. So. I'm going to go ahead and switch cameras so that we can get this started. So hippo full mask is what we're doing. Okay, so for this first part, we are going to make the mask part that's going to go over our, our eyes. What I need you to do is we're going to fold this paper. Mine is going the long way. We want to fold it so it is about a third. And this is going to be what we use for where our eyes are going to be, that whole part. So I'm going to just cut along my fold. And I'm going to save the rest of it because I will be needing it. we will be needing it for the rest of our project. So this is roughly a third of my paper. I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it in half going to fold it in half because I want to make sure when I do my ice I get them in the same exact spot where I need them. So this is going to be where my nose is so I'm going to draw part of a triangle so that I can make sure I cut that out so that my nose can be seen. All right, my nose will be behind this and I can breathe. Then I'm just going to round the corner off. So when I take my scissors I'm just cutting up where my lines are, just rounding my mask. Cutting it off. I'm going to save those because I never know if I'm going to need scraps as I do this. And there is the start of my mask. Now I know from doing my half mask that I am going to want to round those pieces out just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just doesn't feel as nice when you have paper poking in your face. So here is the top part of my mask. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to Put our eyes on it. So to do that I'm going to switch cameras again and show you how I do that. For this part you may want to quickly run to the bathroom so you can use a mirror or if you've got a mirror in your bedroom that would be a great place to run to so that you can look in the mirror as we're doing this. So I'm going to take my glasses off because I don't want to have my glasses interfere. I'm going to take and fold my mask back in half so this is the half where the fold is. This is where my nose is going to go. If I hold it up to my face, I look like this. So I'm going to open it, close it back up so that I can figure out where I'm going to put my eye. So this is roughly where half my face is. I know that my eyeballs are right about here. So I'm going to just draw a little circle right there, real light, and then I will meet you back with the other camera. Okay, I have moved my camera closer so you can see it because it's a dark color and I didn't draw a very dark line. So here's about where I have my eye when I did this. I know that my eye needs to be about here, but I need to move it up a little bit. So I am going to move it up and I'm going to draw a football shape for my eye. Now, when I go to cut this, I'm going to still keep it so that both pieces are folded together. So here is my eye. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it, but I'm not going to crease it. I'm just going to fold it so I can make a snip. Snip. Now this snip goes through both pieces and I can cut out to my eye line. And I'm going to cut on the outside of my pencil mark just because I will get a cleaner line. Cutting it out, cutting through both because we want to make sure that we get them both the same size. If we cut one and then we cut the other, 
we often end up with one side being bigger than the other. Now if you want, you can hold it up to your face and check, see how it is, but I think it should be pretty good the way it is. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make my snout. I need my other piece of paper for this. So here is a second piece. I'm going to take my mask face and I'm going to set it up top. So if you watched the lion video, you saw me make this snout the first time. This one has to be a bigger snout because it covers up all of the hippo face. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to fold this into thirds. And we're going to use two of these pieces. But I don't want to cut just yet. So I'm going to draw this line. Maybe I should have done a pink hippo so you guys could have seen this easier. Okay, so there's my line. I'm going to take and I'm going to... Uh, we'll go the other way because then I can see it. This way. I'm going to just lightly crease this part right here. This part right here. So now I know where the middle is on this piece. So I can draw a vertical line. From there, I'm going to draw out two rectangles. Then, I'm going to come over just a little bit further. I'm going to actually take this and I'm going to stick this kind of here. I think we'll make them right over here at the edge. We'll make a square-ish shape. And then I'm going to erase the line because I know I don't want to cut on my line. Because if I cut that line off, I don't have any tabs and we need those tabs. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cut along this line and then I'm also going to cut where I folded. Okay, so I've got my scissors. I'm going to cut my fold first so I don't forget about it. Then I'm going to cut along my line that I just drew. Make sure you don't cut off your tabs because we need those. That's how this is going to attach to the face of my mask. Okay. Now I'm going to save this scrap because I need it. I will need it. So we are going to make the part that is going to sit on our face right here and then it's going to curve around to make our hippo head or hippo nose. So we're going to make this into an oval piece right here. Now these tabs right here are going to make sure that this side stays on. These right here are going to attach to my face eventually. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm going to fold these towards me because they're going to be on the inside. Then I'm going to put glue all along that edge and the tab. And I'm going to take my other piece of paper that we used I'm going to stick it in, and then I'm going to fold that tab over and make sure it stays. And then I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing. Stick it in the glue, and then fold that tab over and make sure it stays. Now for this part, I need to now let this dry. Because if I were to start to put this on my mask right now, there's a pretty good chance it's going to fall apart. So when we do put this on our mask, we're going to make it so the tabs come down here. I'm going to bend those tabs. We're going to attach it right beneath our eyes, and our hippo will be right here. So the next part I need to do is now to trace this. So I'm going to set my other half of the top mask on here, and I know 
I want it about like this. So I'm going to lightly stick it there and I'm going to trace it. Now, is it going to be perfect? No, because I'm tracing a wiggly piece of paper. I know that. But as close as I can get, the better off I am. So if I hold the top, it makes it a little bit easier. Now this is going to be the end cap for our snout. So we have this giant snout because we have this huge hippo mouth. I'm just going to draw this in a little bit. Round it out a little bit more so it looks a little bit more rounded when we stick it on. Then I'm going to add tabs to it so that it'll sit on our hippo face. And hopefully I don't have to fix edit this one as we do it like I did the other one. I'm going to do a quick check. Make sure that I'm kind of good. Yep, looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'm going to add, I'm going to need a bunch of these. So you're just going to make little squares that you're going to add to your snout. Now with the lion, I had eight. With this one, because it's a little bit bigger shape and a little bit different shape, I'm going to add a few more just to make sure that it's going to stay. I want to make sure it's going to stay on there. Now, if you get too big, you can always cut it down. If you go too small, you are going to have a hard time. <laughs> There's no way to make it bigger, except for to get a new piece of paper. Okay, so I have, it looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 on this one. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it out. I am going to take the time. And I'm going to cut onto both sides of all of these tabs first. Because when I do that, it makes certain that I do not cut my tabs off. The other thing you can do is erase the bottom of the circle. So if you're just following along, cutting, 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 you know right there you do not cut. Now that I have cut on both sides of my tabs, I'm just going to go in and start cutting all around and cutting all my pieces off. Make sure you are being careful and you are not cutting those tabs off. We need those tabs, otherwise the end of your mask will not stay on the snout. So, you do this as slow as you need to. Take your time. Pause my video. You don't necessarily need to cut and watch me if you need to pause the video. Okay, so I have mine all cut out. What I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to fold all my tabs up. What this is going to do is just make it easier to stick it on my hippo face. We are going to put glue on all of these itty bitty tabs and then stick them on the outside of our hippo snout. And it should stay. Before I do put glue though, I'm going to take, and this is the part that is going to attach to my mask, so I want to make sure that it is up. And I'm going to check. And it looks like I should be okay. If not, let me do a double check. I might have an easier time sticking it on the inside of this one. Let me see. Yeah, I think I'm going to have a little bit easier time sticking it on the inside of this one. So what I'm going to do is instead of doing it on the inside, or on the outside like I was planning, I'm going to switch to the inside. So that means I need to turn my paper over because I'm going to put glue on this side because that is going to fit on the inside of here. So depending on how big your piece is depends on whether you glue it on the inside or the outside. My lion snout went on the outside. Hippo apparently gets to go on the inside. It does not matter which way. 
Just make sure you get lots of glue on all your tabs so that they stick. So now I'm going to turn this upside down. I'm going to stick this on and tuck all my tabs in. So tuck all my tabs in and I'm going to want them all tucked in first before I start to press them and stick them in one spot. I want to make sure that this is fairly centered otherwise my hippo snout will look lopsided and I don't want it to look lopsided. So getting those all tucked in. Most of them anyway. Okay. So now I'm going to start to just gently press them in place, hold them for a few seconds. I'm just working my way around the end of my nose so that they stay in place. Got a couple that snuck out, so I'm going to tuck them back in. And once I have this in place, I'm going to let it dry. I'm not going to pick it up and play with it. I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes while we do one of the other parts, and I'm just going to let it dry. So I'm just making sure all of them are touching on the inside. If I were doing this on the outside, I'd be doing the same thing. I just have a wider space in here so I could tuck them all on the inside. So I'm just making sure they are all touching. Every once in a while you get one that's gone a little wild, it doesn't want to touch. And then I'm going to very carefully, because this is sitting in some glue, pick this up and set it to dry. Now when I picked it up, I noticed one of my pieces moved, so I'm just going to stick my finger in and push it together. So this is what the front will look like when I'm done. Now I apparently forgot to stick my nose holes on here, so I'll have to do that in just a minute. So I'm going to let this sit and dry. I'm going to grab my scrap piece of paper and we're going to make some ears. So our ears for a hippo are round. So I'm going to fold my paper and I'm going to use the two ends because they're easy. They're there. They're about the width I need. So hippo ears are curved. So I'm just going to use the straight edge of one side. Going to just round it up and over and draw it down. Now, we're going to make these look three-dimensional, so I need a line down the middle. Now I'm going to take my scissors, just going to cut on my line. While they are stuck together, or I'm holding them together, I'm going to cut up through the middle. What we're going to do, we are going to take them, I'm going to stick some glue on one side, stick it on top of the other, and now your ear is three-dimensional. It pops right up. So I'm going to move my snout because I need my mask. I need my mask. And I'm going to stick my ears behind, just to tuck them behind, so that they're a little bit more out of the way. If you want to stick them on the front, that also works. It is your choice. So I'm going to stick some glue on one of those tab sides. I'm going to stick the other inside it. I'm going to just hold it for a second or two, make sure it stays. Then I'm going to get ready and I'm going to stick it right there and I'm going to push it hard so I make sure that it stays. So put glue on the inside. My work paper is starting to get all gluey because I've used it twice already now. Okay, so there's one hippo ear, so I need to do the other one. Now, if you have pencil marks, you can either erase them or do like I did and turn it over so your pencil marks are on the back. There's my ear, just going to hold it for a few seconds, make sure it sticks, stick some glue on it, and then I'm going to stick it on my mask. Now I have my hippo ears. My hippo nose will eventually come and go right here, and then we're going to do two circles right here right now, which I should have stuck on while it was flat, but I forgot about them. So I'm just going to use some scrap black paper 
I'm going to cut a big enough piece for some nose holes, nostrils. Since I can do this winging it, I'm just going to wing it. If you want to draw your circle out first, go for it. If you want to trace a circle, go for it. I'm just going to go with cutting a circle right off the bat. Now, I folded mine in half and cut them both at once so that they are what? They're the same because I don't want to have to trace and do two. So here are my hippo nose holes to get those to glue on. I'm going to stick some glue on the back and then I'm going to very carefully put them on and then turn it over and we'll push them down. So sticking it on. Sticking it on. Now they are stuck there enough that I'm okay to pick them up and move them over. So I'm just going to flip my whole nose down. I'm going to push it against the table. I knock my glue stick over, push it against the table. Okay. Now, is this still fragile? Yeah, it's still pretty fragile. So don't be playing around too much with it. Got a piece of my lion stuck on it. Stuck in the glue. There we go. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this to my mask. So I'm going to take and I'm going to put glue right here and I'm going to stick it on my mask and then I will have to turn my mask over to make sure it sticks. So, taking the lid off my glue stick, going to put glue on here and right here. Then I'm going to look and place it about where I want it. Make sure it's close to the middle. Gonna lightly push it down and then I'm gonna pick them both up and turn them over. And then I can see is that really where I want it? I'm gonna push them together. See, is it centered? That's yeah, pretty centered. Now I have a spot right here. I really could use another one of those support pieces one of those tabs. So I'm going to make some extra tabs so that I can guarantee that it's going to stay. So to do that, just going to take my scrap paper and I'm going to cut a little bit wider rectangle. Then I'm going to take my rectangle and I'm going to fold them both in half. Now they're going to get glue on one full side. So if you find you need to have added reinforcements anywhere, you can always add tabs. So I've got glue on one whole side. I'm going to take this and I'm going to stick it on the inside of my mask. So part of it is going to be on this part right here and part of it is going to be on my mask. So I need to get a little bit more right about here. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to fold my mask down and push it down. Then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So I'm going to get glue on my piece of paper. I'm going to stick it on the inside first, right along my where I need it. And then I'll hold it down so I can make sure that it sticks. And then we can turn it over. And there is my cute little hippo. Now, I need to let this dry for a little bit before I show it to you. I want to make sure that it dries enough that it's not going to fall apart on me when I pick it up. So I'm going to let this sit for just a few seconds or a few minutes and clean up my mess and then I will be back to show you what it looks like. So as promised, I promise you I would show you what it looks like. So 
here is my hippo mask. When you go to take a picture of your mask in Teams, you could hold it up, you could put it on your face, you could take a picture of it if it's super fragile, laying down. It is your choice, but I want you to take a picture of your mask for me and stick it in your assignment and send it on to me through Teams. So with that, I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful rest of your day.